This video explains how you can support medical research using your health data. Hannah came to the hospital because she has a heart problem. Her doctors will examine her heart and then take an image of it. This is Elias. He has been ill for some time and undergoes regular examination at the hospital. During these visits, he has blood samples taken. Hannah's heart examination and Elias' blood tests generate data. This information is valuable for medical research. Scientists hope to use it to gain fresh insight. And in the future, this could help doctors diagnose illnesses faster, treat them better, and even prevent them. But how does medical research on the basis of such data actually work? Data from treatments are collected from across Germany and combined for research purposes. This large pool of data enables scientists to recognize patterns they were previously unable to see. These patterns permit precise conclusions to be drawn about the causes of diseases and suitable treatments. But researchers are only allowed to use this data if Elias and Hannah agree. So Elias and Hannah are asked if their data may be used for this purpose. All data that would directly indicate who Elias and Hannah are and where they live are replaced by a combination of characters. This process is known as encoding. This prevents their data from being easily linked back to them as individuals. The encoded data are then made available to research institutions, universities, and companies with R&D activities. These organizations are subject to European data privacy legislation that protects citizens' rights or to comparable legislation. Before research can be performed using Hannah's and Elias's data, a panel of experts and an independent ethics committee must give their approval. Elias and Hannah are given a patient information sheet and a consent declaration form. These documents also draw attention to the risks associated with the use of their data. Hannah and Elias read these carefully before making a decision. A specially trained member of hospital staff answers any questions they may have. Consent is entirely voluntary, and whether it is granted or not has no impact on the medical treatment. Hannah and Elias can decide whether they are willing to be contacted if the researchers have follow-up questions or find potential indications of other illnesses. If so, they will be told by hospital staff and no one else. With Hannah's and Elias's consent, their treatment data can be collected for research work for the next five years. After this period, Elias and Hannah are asked to renew their consent. Hannah's and Elias's data are stored for 30 years. During this time, researchers are able to use the data repeatedly to gain new insights. Hannah and Elias can view all research projects carried out with the data and biosamples on a website and can receive information about new projects by email. Hannah and Elias can revoke their consent at any point. The data stored for new research projects are then deleted. Medical research can harness Hannah's and Elias' data to better recognize diseases and to develop new treatment. Scientists hope that this will allow them to provide better, faster help to many patients throughout Germany. Before completing the consent declaration form, please read the patient information sheet carefully. If you should have any questions, our hospital staff are happy to help. For further information, please visit our website.